Hey everyone, welcome to Monktoberfest. I'm here with Laurel and Nelly, who are from O'Reilly, and I'm here to give them their uh, beautiful speakers' presents, which are the lovely bottles of craft beer. Laurel? Oh, thank you so much. Thank Nelly. you. And also to ask you guys to give us a quick synopsis of the talk you gave us. Hmm. Who wants to start? Well, I'll start. So um, we work for O'Reilly Media, and we are a tech book publisher as well as conference Excellent. producer. And we do pretty much everything. We are a media company. And our talk today was really about the change of the media industry and how authors and publishers really have to change to accept piracy as a form of taxation and to innovate mm -hmm. rather than chase after pirates and um, waste a lot of money yeah. on lawyers. And to change the product that they're trying to sell to the public and change the way that they're presenting ideas. But, yeah. but you know, doesn't piracy ruin their livelihood? Uh... Yes yeah, so and no. I mean, there have been authors who would blame piracy for eating away at their um, book sales, but I think that that's actually been proven false for the most part. Um, and it's actually the availability of information on the internet that's more responsible for eating away at those royalties. Yeah, piracy has been around forever, since the 16th century, and the internet just made it a, a, a form that was easier to share information. So adding uh, digital rights management or DRM to products does not actually prevent piracy. And we've seen no correlation between piracy and um, loss of sales in books. Okay, but doesn't DRM at least make it more difficult to pirate? Sure, but it also makes it harder to find those books. So then your fear is really obscurity, and um, that is not what most authors want. They want to be known. So Tim O'Reilly in 2002, and don't forget, it's 10 years ago, and technology has changed so much, said that um, obscurity is actually worse than piracy, and that remains true today. Awesome. Laurel, Ellie, thank you so much. Great. Thanks, thank Tom. You.